Hi, welcome back. In this segment, we're going to cover uh, time and rhythm. If you're going to understand timing and rhythm, you pretty much control the fight. Okay? Um, that's one of the greatest athletes that we had. Not only did he have his speed, but his time rhythm was, was impeccable, along with what you see the great boxers or any other uh, great fighters out there. Um, speed is timing, like I said before on a previous take um, I've done, that I always said it's not how fast you are, it's how fast you get there. And I'm just going to show some small things today. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to try to cut things down. Hopefully, we can get a little bit something out of it. Um, I'm going to take my son, Keith. Uh, the other thing, timing and rhythm, a lot of it is, is basically it's a, it's a mental game. Okay? Uh, once you interrupt that person's that timing and you start, you start dominating the rhythm and controlling rhythm, the, the fight is, is pretty much yours. But it's when you start losing your, your distancing and your timing and rhythm, Things are falling apart on the other end, on, on the ground or canvas, wherever you want to may be. Okay? Um, so, a, a quick little demonstration how the mind works with, with timing. Okay? I'm just going to do a basic park style. Okay? Um, he's going to parry. Okay? We'll do it a few times. Okay? So, we want now his brain to program. Boom. Okay? There. You see that right there? Um, I, I got him, we started doing some rhythm going there. His brain was saying, okay, he felt this, he saw this. Boom. Same thing, boom. So if I'm out here and I just in boxing range per se or kicking range, okay, and I just go to Keith, boom, I blast him in the gut. Okay, and he backs up. I don't know, I'm not this isn't this isn't mainly an entry. If I go enter here a lot of times he's gonna come here, boom, and I'm gonna kiss his right hand. Okay? I don't want that. It was a little baby to kiss him, but I don't want to get at this size, I wanna feel that kind of kiss, okay? So um that's why I saw another fact if I didn't say it before. Alright, so like a strange on video. Anyways. So this isn't really empty per se, this is kind of, just basically, we can borrow like a PIA. I come here and boom, I'm at this range here, and whatever I'm doing, okay? Come back a little closer. All right, so what I'm getting at here is I hit him there, boom. Now his heat block right, he's not already turning, he wants to block that shot. So what I'm doing is now I'm setting, now I'm setting the cadence here, okay? I'm just going to blast him here so he yeah, has that little cringe. So remember, oh, there, there's my rear cross or ring hand, okay, I'm doing this. Um, also, uh, we're going to do uh, a jab, catch, jab, pick thing. He parries. One, two, three. I know you've seen this all over YouTube. It's Pond Tuke and Western Boxing has this. What I see a lot of guys don't do, <clears throat> they're not explaining um, why they're doing it. Okay? And what we, we do here is we, everything, um, our frame focus is attributes. Because the attribute is what makes, makes the fighter. Okay, you can have 10,000 techniques in the world, but if you really suck at it and you can't pull them off, you're just, you're just posing. Okay, uh, I'm always supposed to be stuck in the old, as Lee would say, dissecting the corpse. I can just go ahead and keep, he goes all over me and does whatever. Okay, um, we want to try to keep things alive and real, and that is absolute based. All right, so you see, he comes, he jabs at me here, boom. Okay, I intercept there, he comes here, boom, 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 and again, I go, all right, boom, boom. Okay, so he jabs, boom, now I'm doing it during the attack. As he jabs here, okay, before the attack. Comes here, boom. Now that's that's after. Okay? This drill is mainly an after-based um, type of liberty. He comes in here, so you know one, two, three. You see? Go, boom. That's during. Okay? He comes in and boom. That's before. That's when he's starting to, that's, that's when he's starting to set. I see him starting to set on me, bam, I'm hit, I hit him. Okay? So there's a lot to do with this drill. It's not just a you know, pop, 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 you see. Um, just, you can go for hours and add all some things inside here. As he jabs here, I can add a low line kick. All right, you can, it's, it's endless. You make it yours, okay? You just come in here. I can add, add a good thing for one from the Filipino martial arts, okay? Um, what do you want to do? It's yours. Uh, also, with, with footwork, step off a second, please. Okay. A real uh, basic drill I learned many, many years ago, okay? It's a, you can add all, all sorts of rhythm with this. It's, it's a great drill, okay? You know, you step and slide, you cover. Come behind and here, okay? So you can go actually slow, fast, slow, fast, okay? So you just, you just play around with the rhythm of it. And it's very, very important to have that, you know, a certain savvy and movement, okay? So what you're doing is, Keith, if he stands here, he's got his dukes up, or I'm in the, on this side here, okay, southpaw. Um, and when he, he comes toward me, I step back, I come toward him. He steps back here, he jabs at me, if I'm parrying or whatever, it's very smooth. Okay, but when I start going here and see, he 
That caused him to come in. What I want, as I drop down, he came toward me. This is my line of opening. Okay? So then I'm kind of controlling the rhythm of it. Also, as well, um, in Kali. Okay? You know, what we do here is we do Kali for two things attributes and also to train stick fighting. As when a stick hits you, <laughs> you, you know it. There's no other way out. You, can, um, you can't fake that one. Okay? So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go with two beats here. I'm going to go one, two. Okay? Two beats is one, two. One, two. Now I'm going to add a half beat in there. Um, so now with, with rhythm, we go on three beats of rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Inside those threes, okay, is one quarter, half, two, okay? Or one half, two, which we commonly use as a, as a half beat. Okay? It's boom. Okay? So what I'm going to do in here is, as keep coming through with angle one, I'm going to come here, I'm going to place my half beat here as it come down here, I'm going to place it again. What that's doing is training our mind now to, to think in that constant chop pop, chop pop, pop, that, that type of rhythm. Um, a story I heard many, many years ago, of, uh, I can't remember which JP grade it was, but it was one of the least students. I'm not sure it was Hot Sale and Assam. I'm really, I don't want to like quote the person on that. I can't remember exactly who I got it from. Um, but that lead, when someone was working on a dummy, he wouldn't always watch the person play a dummy. He'd listen. He'd turn his back and listen. If he heard a certain rhythm, he'd be the guy if they, they have it. Okay? So, we got back in the really basic. And this is real basic stuff. There's a lot to cover in time rhythm. We only have 10 minutes on YouTube, so I'm going to try to give you guys something here to play with. All right, so I'm going to go one half, two, two halves, okay? So it's just one half, pop, pop, okay? Or I can go pop, pop, boom, here. So I'm keeping the, the rhythm high, so I'm going one half here, okay? And, and you know, I'm doing, doing whatever, whatever I need to be, okay? Um, that's just the whole thing you can play, play with, all right? Um, so again, and now I'm going to hop over to, to win W for a second here. You see, you, you hear a lot of guys, you see a lot of guys, okay? They'll start here, you know. Okay? All right. That's all fine and dandy, but what you want to do is, you want to try to make it alive and make it, uh, bring some lace to the dummy, all right? Um, you want to make it, it almost as a live partner with you. Obviously, you can't because it's standard of wood, okay? And uh, I question this intelligence sometimes for some people to come across. You don't wonder if they got wood as more brains than people. But uh, anyways, so with this, you want to have a little more like, pizzazz to it, okay? If I want to come in and hit here, you know, stuck on an angle and hit. Also want to hit and we have an oblique kick in here, okay? So it's just a boom. Does that half be here? Boom, okay? You can hear there's different rhythms during that, all right? Um, so with that, again, I don't have a lot of time here. Just play around with that. Play around with the footwork again I showed. You know, we, we go in, we come here, and we go slow, fast, maybe. Slow, fast. And you just play around with that. You get a guy in stands in front of you, and you kind of go back and forth. Okay? And you'll see, once you start playing with the, the rhythm and all, and all that stuff, you start dominating. That, that time, when a person becomes confused, that's, that's, that's your entry. Again, okay, keep. Play with a judge and joy, straight blast. Okay. If I, if I'm here, I'm, just, you know, I'm, just, I'm not going to move around because of the camera angles and stuff. So I'm here with Keith and stuff, and I'm going to blast him. I see, I see a lot of guys. I see guys on tapes, and I'm just like, holy cow, you know? They'll come in here and then pop, pop, pop. They come in right away. What if Keith is preparing for my? He's seeing he's seeing me here, and the rhythm's the same way. You have equal rhythm. I'm not trying to break your rhythm. He's not trying to break my rhythm. But it's like an equal rhythm thing going on right now. Okay, and he sees me move that like and I by that fist. Comes in, boom! There goes my judge on joy. It's properly timed. That's that's the essence. Okay? You don't want to run in there. I'm gonna play a little rhythm game with him here. Okay, and boom, there it is. That'll happen. A lot of times these guys understand when we do our you know, that stuff here. You know, a lot of this this is a lie, a PIA, professor indirect attack. Okay, that's that's a rhythm type motion going on there. That's a broke rhythm type attack. Okay? So with that, I uh, hope you guys can get something out of it, and I'll see you on our next uh, segment, which is going to be uh, how and why um, of tools. Thank you very much.